tell me, tell me the story. Like, how yeah. did you become the person you are today? Yeah, I'll give my quick, quick intro. So, uh, and, and also how we found DSO. So yeah. um, I got really interested in crypto starting in, uh, I actually watched a video on Bitcoin in 2010. That was when I was in high school and I tried to mine it and I couldn't get the software to work and, and I was just not good enough. Uh, but then again, in 2012 and 2013, my friend told me about Bitcoin. And this time I was like, okay, this is round two. I'm an engineer. I'm studying engineering. I need to be able to do this. Uh, so in college uh, in 2012, 2013, um, I ended up mining uh, 24 Bitcoin uh, and uh, uh, on free campus electricity. So totally free. Uh, and uh, another funny story, actually, um, it's like, I'm glad I have this here. Uh, I also happened to meet the CEO of Mount Gox. So this is me with uh, Mark Carpeles, uh, oh. the CEO of Mount Gox in 2012, when wow. Mount Gox was still running. Um, wow. Yeah, so the reason why I got so excited about Bitcoin is because before uh, uh, Bitcoin, you needed a bank, essentially, in order to move money. You needed to rely on this centralized party. Like, Misha, if I wanted to send you money, we had to go through a centralized entity, which is a bank, uh, that controls our money for us, right? right. Um, and what Bitcoin did is it created the blockchain, which nobody controls, uh, and made it so that if I want to send you money, Misha, that's my decision, and, and, and you're my follower, that's your decision, um, and there's nothing really that can get in between us. Nothing can, uh, 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 you know, censor it or, or uh, uh, change the nature of that. Yeah. And so... Uh, uh, that's why, you know, it's kind of related to how we got to DSO eventually. But generally, I think when you can give the people uh, control over uh, what they're producing or what they own, um, yeah. it's better than if you have an unrelated centralized party in the middle, right? Um, and so that seemed like a very interesting uh, concept for money. Uh, and that's why I got so excited about Bitcoin in college. Right. Uh, so what happened with Bitcoin uh, is... Uh, I sold the top of Bitcoin at $1,000 in uh, 2013. Um, and uh, so it was great. I was so happy but because uh, uh, it went down a lot. Uh, but I was also really sad uh, because I was really excited about Bitcoin. You know, we were all really seriously considering um, starting a, a, a Coinbase or starting a trading operation uh, on Bitcoin and all that kind of stuff because we loved it so much. We just wanted to be a part of it. And when it crashed, we kind of went, oh man, you know, it's dead and, and what are we going to do? This is in 2013. So 2013, I went and worked at a hedge fund I, uh, called DE Shah. It was high frequency trading. Um, I really didn't like it. Uh, I felt very removed from the impact I was having on the world. Uh, and uh, so I went instead, I worked at Google as an engineer, worked in ads and search. And um, I liked that a lot because at Google, um, you know, you can really feel the changes in, in what you're doing. You know, the, the changes that I made to search uh, around knowledge panels. Uh, so, you know, when you Google like Barack Obama, you see his picture. My team was working on that stuff and um, we made a lot of stuff work much better in that, uh, um, in, for those kinds of queries. Uh, and that really helps like a billion people who use Google. So it's, it's a higher impact. Uh, you can really feel your impact. That's very nice. Uh, yeah. And so the way I got back into crypto is 2016, 17. Um, Ethereum uh, kind of started getting popular uh, and I had kind of gone to sleep on crypto until then. But when I saw what was going on with Ethereum, I said, wow, there's like so much to do here. Uh, I got excited about Ethereum, uh, smart contracts, privacy coins, and stable coins. Uh, and, um, you know, uh, basically uh, started blogging about crypto again. I, I was blogging about a lot of stuff. There's actually my most viral blog post is one about how it might be better to rent your home instead of buying a home. You can go see Wait, what? Why? Why? Tell me. I want to understand this brain that comes it's, up with it, those. So explain no, it's, how you're thinking. <laughs> like why? It's very deep. I mean, it, it's a, you should go to nattertheory.com. It's my personal blog. Uh, and, uh, and, and there's an article. It's the first one. Um, it's too deep to go into and ah. everybody gets triggered by it. It's not a, <laughs> um, it's just an economics thing. It's not like a, a prescriptive thing. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so that went very viral because it's, it's, un it's surprising. Um, and so I wrote a few posts like that, but then you can, you can literally see when I got into Ethereum because all of my posts were about crypto. I mean, why not just go off and do something that we're like, you make a hundred, you become a billionaire or trillionaire and <laughs> who, why care? I mean, yeah, I mean, I think Misha, I think a lot of people feel this way, but, um, you know, I, I get a lot of happiness and enjoyment out of really helping people and doing something that. Uh, ends up creating value for the world. Uh, and 
Um, I think everybody does that in their own way. You know, I think that, uh, and, and by the way, you know, it's not even, um, you know, being an entrepreneur is one way to do that, but working at Google is actually another way to do that that I was very happy with, you know, like, it's funny because, you know, um, you're talking to me like I'm a, a, a big shot entrepreneur or something, but like, I would have been just as happy at Google, uh, you know, working there. And, and actually, it's funny because uh, when I returned the money with Basis, a lot of people don't know, I had less money uh, after that than when I started because I returned all of it and made sure that all of our employees had generous severances and all that stuff. Uh, and so I had three years before uh, I had to go back to Google because I'd be running out of money, which is a great situation to be in. I'm very lucky that that's, that's like a, a fallback. But, um, uh, but I, I thought at that point, you know, maybe the way that I'm gonna help the most people is by being at Google. You know, just by being an engineer at Google, I, I can affect, you know, a billions of people by, by making this thing that they use better. Um, and and I, I almost, I probably, you know, if I, if I didn't have a really, really supportive uh, a girlfriend at the time, who's now my wife, uh, <laughs> who said, no, 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 um, you know, you, you want, need to focus on uh, 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 things. So she said, you need to focus on things that are not going to happen if you natter don't do them. Um, and, and so that came from her and she said that. And uh, she didn't say you have to do that, but she said she thinks that's my purpose, you know. And I thought about it and I said, well, I don't know if she's right, but uh, I'm going to try that. I'm going to spend, I'm going to run the three years down to zero. Uh, and, and if I run out of money, then I'll go back to Google and I'll do uh, you know, the, the more straightforward path. Uh, and um, so really for me, it's just a journey of finding out where I fit, you know, where I can do the most good. And um, that's brought us, that's brought us here. And, uh, but I think it's really important that, um, you know, people get caught up and, uh, oh, I want to be a big shot, like whatever, you know, I don't think that's, uh, I think that's very fleeting. I think that's not, uh, you know, I think it's important that people understand that, you know, no matter where you are, if you're helping people, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's good, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's my kind of life, life philosophy. <laughs>